I still have scars about this game from, I think it was like, I don't know, what year are we now? 2024, 2021, I think it was. Uh, Bochum, plus 1,200. Bayern, minus 625. The draw is at plus 800. The under or over set a massive four. Under four, minus 110. Over four, minus 109. Meaning that you're actually going to need five goals to get paid on the back of the trip, on the back of having their backsides completely roasted by Barcelona, what Bayern turns up. And Bochum, do they smell blood, Stefan? I think they smell blood, but I think they smell their own blood, to be perfectly honest oh, with you. Uh, okay. I think, uh, you know, this is typically what tends to happen. If a team beats Bayern, usually in the Bundesliga, the next team in the in the running get absolutely thumping off them. Uh, and I don't think there'll be any difference here, even if it was a European game. Um, it's really worth kind of pointing out just what absolute disarray Bochum are in this season. Uh, this week, they sacked their head coach. Uh, they've also sacked their sporting director. Um, and instead of actually going in to bring another head coach in and hoping for that new manager bounce, they've just promoted uh, some of the first team coaches to play as these kind of two interim roles. And I suspect that's because they know they've got Bayern coming up, then Frankfurt, then Leverkusen, then Stuttgart. And I think they've probably so I think they've probably just written off these next four games and said, look, if we wanna if we want to appoint a new head coach who wants this job, we he's not Christmas. taking it before we need Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. yeah, but yeah, but I it's funny you say old. that. Because the uh, people upstairs will be thinking this is Christmas because they've got four of the biggest sides coming up. So the the, the revenue, the feel good factor, they get one result. It could propel them, and the feel good factor could go through the roof very very early on. Sorry, Stefan. No, I mean, you're absolutely right. I, I suspect they're probably just thinking, let's just get these horrible fixtures out of the way, then we can give the next guy a, a running shot at it. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I just think Bayern Munich are going to show up here. They're going to have the wrath of God in them, I think, to make sure they score. They're going to be on it from the first minute. Um, Bayern have typically done quite well to score early goals this season. Half their goals this season have come in the first half. Um, and I suspect once they score, they're not going to stop scoring this game. Uh, so I've gone for Bayern halftime, full time, uh, and over three and a half goals in the game because I suspect this is going to be a very difficult game for Bochum. If I was a Bochum fan, I probably wouldn't even shop for this one, if I'm being honest with you, because take some time off, take the wife out for a nice lunch, turn the radio off, come back in on Monday morning and pretend nothing happened. Yeah, we can't. Listen, I know I got done last week. Bayern and both Bayern to win and both teams to score seems to be the staple diet apart from last week when they scored four and Stuttgart one of the heaviest scorers uh, in the Bundesliga couldn't get us one uh, Alex I've left this alone and I'm I sort of keep questioning myself why have I left it alone exactly why because <laughs> if you remember last season it was Bayer Bochum it was uh, in uh, September right uh, at the beginning of the season anyway and we said minus 3.5 goals. Everybody was saying, no, it's the beginning of the season. They will not go hard. Seven, seven. It was done by half time. They covered the spread by half time. I mean, what is happening right now at Bochum? They, will, they are thinking, why would <laughs> should we pay a one month salary to a good coach when we have these four <laughs> pictures <laughs> coming up, right? Let's put some money in the pocket and let's. Let's wait for Christmas, because anyway, we are losing every match for, for the last uh, next four weeks, right? So, for the next next four weeks, I think that uh, exactly what uh, Stefan was saying, um, when a team is uh, beating Bayer, no matter in the Champions League, because normally they're playing in the Champions League or in the domestic competition, the next match, it will be chaos what will happen in their match, because... They want, they will want to bounce back, and they will want to do it in style. On top of that, uh, he said that uh, they tend to score early. This is why no value on what I have on the screen right now, plus minus whatever four goals over 3.5. But I'm going Bayer minus one on the Asian handicap at half time. So if they only win by one goal at half time, which I hope that they will win by two, they, uh, it will, uh, it will be a push. So I think that they will go very strong from the beginning of the match. Uh, I think that they should be uh, they should be able to score at least four goals on their own at plus 128. Because if you think at the uh, Bayer uh, Bochum's defense, they allowed what three goals in each of the last three: uh, Hoffenheim, uh, Wolfsburg, Dortmund four, right? So yeah, I think that uh, Bayern Munich should uh, 
should have a good time with uh, Bochum. Yeah, Love B says, uh, if I'm a Bochum fan, I know my team uh, might score two goals on Bayern. That's the one. It's Bayern and both teams to score. I'm guilty here. I am. I'm honestly. I'm more than happy to have my head on the block and say I'm guilty here of complicating this game by not getting involved. It's one of those where I just... Bock, I remember Bockham lashing one in from like 30 yards in the top corner and he's not had a shot since the lad. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's really it's really strange that I'm, I'm scared of this game. Um, but again, I'm more than happy. I don't have a FOMO. I do not have a fear of missing out. So more than happy to cheer on the boys. I know, sometimes sometimes it's good not to, not to bother, you know, not to, not to have a pick. But uh, for sure, you will watch the match as you always do, <laughs> yeah, and uh, maybe maybe you will have something in play for us yeah, on Twitter. Yeah, no, right? no, exactly, hundred uh, percent. Uh, if I see something, I'll uh, I'll definitely dive in. You can't, uh, but you have to be lively. You have to make sure. Like Copa you... to to get a book or something. Yellow card. Yeah, I, can't, well, I could do that one before the game. But that's if Bock <laughs> that's if Bockham actually attack. Uh, so it's buying half time, full time, and over three and a half goals at plus one ten. Thanks to the graphics people for putting that uh, together. Uh, first half Bayern minus one at minus one ten. Meaning if Bayern are leaving by one at half time, then it's just a push. Yeah. 